What is going on YouTube? Today we are coming at you guys with the 10th episode and I thought I'd do it something special. Uh, they did come out with a recent patch and I am actually pretty much loving this patch. Um, you guys probably checked out some other videos. I do I do know uh, Aardvark Gaming does some uh, good, good content on Railroads Online so I do recommend you check him out as well. But let's go ahead and switch this over and we're actually going to make our way down to the smelter grab our iron rails and we're going to make it up to the coal mine so you guys bear with me uh let's try to get 15 likes on this railroads online episode um i know that may be a lot um i just do recommend you guys hit that like button subscribe for some more content and help me out with the algorithm it does help me out a lot and i do appreciate it I do appreciate the views that i've been getting out on the uh some of the, my videos here uh recently the some railroad online videos got some got 100 views so i do appreciate it it's much love much love and we're just gonna get right on rolling out to the smelter and i will see you guys down to the spur because i left these two cars empty we're gonna do four four cars of beams and we're gonna do two cars of iron rails and we're going to take that stuff right up to the coal mine. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the new route. And hopefully our Glenbrook can make the curves. Tried keeping them as, you know. As, you know, not as curvy as possible. I don't know what the word is right now at the moment. But like I said, I am loving this update. Um, because when I was loading this car or this train. Way easier. Um. And when I needed to throw her in reverse, I didn't need to throw up this reverser or the, yeah. I didn't need to throw up the regulator all the way just to put it in reverse. I put it 3% to give it a shot. And that stuff just started rolling. So I am loving it. I am loving it. They uh, switched up how switches work um, instead of you doing the left mouse button or the right mouse button. You now click with your left and you drag left or right. So I knew, know that some people were getting some frustrations about that, and I was actually getting frustrated as well. You never know which one you have to click when you get up to switch. Now they made it a lot easier. Now you just have to drag your mouse to the left or to the right. So I will see you guys down to the uh, smelter spur there, and we're gonna park some, park these four cars, so it's a lot easier on the Glenbrook to get out of the smelter. And we're probably just going to reverse her right up to uh, back to the place where we were. So let's pull the whistle for some good luck and I'll see you there. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are just turning off for the cord or the smelter run. And we will be heading down here shortly. Let's get right to it and get these iron rails loaded let's hope we don't derail here i'm gonna put some brakes on considering there's been a new update physics may have changed in places that don't want it i don't we'll see what's going on um i like to go into block go in things blind and see what's changed with my own eyes uh you know like some people like to read the patch notes and look for that stuff but you know i I really haven't ran into too many bugs besides the momentum bug and I mean that's pretty much it I mean there's quality of life stuff for sure that can be improved on but other than that I do enjoy railroads online let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the uh, new update and what you guys think about the game in general you guys just like watching it or do you guys enjoy playing it as well let me know if uh, you guys are uh, building your own rail road and whatnot or be interested to hear about it in the comments down below we're just going slow we'll do 30 percent on the regulator and we'll get down there i'll go ahead and put a cut here well Actually, we'll be all right. We'll get down there. Get down there together. Holy Grail, putting in some work. I'm 
do know we got to get a new loco soon. Um, but she's been doing a lot of work that has needed to be done. We do need to just hope and pray that we're going to make it up to the coal mine. Because it does get some steep curves and just some steep grades in general. We're going a little too quick here. We're going to slow down on the air brake. Steam brake there. Whatever, whatever it may be. I'm not too fluent in steam locomotives. Get my info from other YouTubers. And it's like hard part. Turbo. Coming up to the curve down to the smelter. We are doing just fine and dandy. Especially with just for two cars here, so let's get down there and I can show you guys the new switch and how it works. Be very beneficial to us. So like I said before, we're probably just going to back back out, so I want to be able to... See, I don't think the switch is lined correctly. And I need to cut some more trees down over here. Nope, it is not. Alright, uh, real quick, you guys run over here. And you look at it, and you drag to the right. Oh, she stopped. Okay. Drag to the left. Drag to the right. It's a lot easier than doing right click, left click. Which one is it? Um, quick guessing game. Have to stop the whole train. Reverse. You know what I'm saying. So, that is very beneficial to anybody who is playing in single player mode and doesn't have, you know, regular switch man or just doesn't like switching in general because of how it used to be. Uh, but let's get these rails, rail beams or the iron rails here loaded. And on the way back up, out of the smelter. And I'll go ahead and put a cut here, and we will get back to you guys when she is loaded. All right, that is the last rail loaded. We about have, we almost have twenty thousand pounds on each car here. Let's just hope she makes it up to the smelter or up the smelter run, and let's hope she makes it up to the coal mine do you appreciate anybody sticking around hitting that like button and can we get that get the likes up to 15 likes i do appreciate anybody hitting that like button subscribing watching the video it does mean so much to me and let's get on up there now i wonder what you guys think down uh, down below if you guys haven't commented already on the video what do you guys think if the uh iron rails are they gonna make it up to the coal mine or are we gonna are we gonna flunk are we gonna flunk down in the down down in the depths of the smelter or are we gonna flunk up to the coal mine or what one do you guys think it's gonna be i haven't done a run to the coal mine yet so there might be a derail so stay tuned and find out with me gotta get some screenshots in good spots there get her from this angle we got one more nope we do not have one more view out that will have to be it all right Those are some beautiful screenshots some beautiful beautiful screenshots we're getting up to the scary hump here um once we get up to the scary hump, we're going to have to slow down right afterwards. Otherwise, we're going to smack right into our car of beams. Let's not, let's not do that. That'll be a sad derail right at the beginning of the journey. Now, let's see. Bogs down. We're only at 81 as well. Might I mention. So we can, we can bump that throttle if we need to. And I think she did just fine. I had my doubts. But she made it a-okay. Let me throw that brake on quick. I 
Now let's go ahead and make sure that everything's thrown here before we hook up. Okay, so we have a pin on that one. So we're going to need to back into that there. Get that hooked into. See how she slowly rolls? Like, I'm loving this update. All right, so we're going to get this coupled, and I'm going to get it down to the switch um, on to where the new spur is down to the coal mine. And we're going to get on going. Now, if you guys haven't already, let me know. What do you guys think down below? Are we going to make it? Or are we going to flunk? Lock it in with the thumbs up, and let's get going. See you guys down this switch we are here at the coal mine spur so if we take a left here we'll be going to coal mine uh, i do have some switches set for it looks like we're going to pass this little small little rail yard i built uh, just testing out my little rail yard skills but we're gonna go ahead and keep it a little slow around here um but we do already start inclining right after the switch here so that is one negative on the coal mine run but i tried to keep it as flat as possible right here just to be able to park some cars uh, so the passing track is right there so in case we need to put another engine in front but we've got that big old straight line here that looks like it'll hold six cars we put more down if we need to uh, but it might be a little bit of a struggle but let's go ahead and put our reverser back up and let's get up this dang coal mine mountain it is a quite a long trip so i'll probably cut out here and there some parts uh, just to make it a little easier on the eyes and fewer but let's get on to it i know i probably kind of started off a little slow here but see ya to make do. I hope. Okay, so she's chirping already. That's the first uh, little hump here. Kind of not looking good already, so we may need to come back with here, Loco. Or get a faster run at it with a different switch up. We can just go straight right through the yard. Because I don't think we have enough speed to get up this mountain. I'll just keep it at 100 and hope for the best, I suppose. go ahead and double check brakes are off which they all should be yep all the brakes are off so what we have here is what we got do a little bit of a running shot here But yeah, she is a good climb to get up the mountain, so. Let's get on to it. So she's speeding up. Looks like if we need to go slow, we can. But it will really hurt our speed. And our time up. So there is a little bit of bridge city as well. 
Try to avoid as many bridges as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this run up here. I tried to integrate some different uh, bridges. Like this one here is the old bridge, but not too high up here. I just wanted to put some bridge in. This one's a bit of a steeper uh, deal, so I put some fireproof red on the new bridge here. Same with the next one to keep it uniform. And that'll about, that's about the same pattern you'll see throughout the travel. Uh, when we do get to the spots where it gets pretty steep, we do get a steel bridge because the only thing that allows us being building a big old wood bridge probably is the best idea anyways. Most likely there's probably beavers around and those probably right on those uh, trestles and whatever. Um, Whatever else they need for the uh, sharpening of their teeth, they will chew everything down and ruin the bridges. So we gotta keep, make sure we gotta get the steel bridges in where they're really needed. And we are a okay. But there is no animals on railroads online. Just trying to keep some immersive, immersive thoughts into the game. But we are fucking right along. Just keeping a nice uh, chug along here. Uh, I know after the turn here, we actually start going downhill. And then we'll have to go back up. This is when it starts to get fun. trees were permitting we could see the coal mine right over here that renders in for the video but we're let's say about halfway there the hard part is not over uh, there is some grass clipping into the tracks I made sure we're on the rail um but you guys didn't see that turn the other way but I do appreciate anybody stick around. Here is where we are actually going to be deep mining here soon. And why I, I, I believe we probably should have started on base up, down by the river. But I decided to go up this way because I thought we had a nice wrap around. I was wrong, deadly wrong. Um, so we have to pay for that. We come around. This is fairly, I believe, flat or actually declining in the grade, going down in the grade. Uh, we come around and I'm trying to get down to the correct level for the ascendance. As you can see over there, you can kind of see the stone wall, which is pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, I did put some tender brake on. I do not want to derail this train. 
But I want to keep the momentum and the speed once we get closer to... Oh, there's... Oh, we're going to do rail. I will be right back, guys. Thank you for sticking around. minutes later uh we got the train re-railed um don't think there's any other trees i'm crossing my fingers as we speak i'm hoping that was the only tree i missed because that was embarrassing one two i'm not gonna edit that out and three i hope you guys enjoyed the, the time lapse uh, i tried that out that was a thing I hope you guys enjoyed that. It might be a little weird just by the look of it. I don't know. About five minutes of recording there, so. Let's get back to it. Oh, here's one of our steep curves. Barb curves. That's She's doing just fine. So right up here was a pain in my butt. This is the bridge I was mentioning. I wanted to go all the way up and around here. Because there is a landing there for it. But I simply could not. That is actually not that bad of a stretch. I thought that was a lot of more bridge than it is. I mean, it starts right here. Because I was wanting to not have to deal with the grade. Okay. Well, chat. We are stopped. Wonder how fast we can take that curve. Or if our brakes are fully off everywhere. I mean, I'm hoping so. Well, we're missing a brake. So let's get to the curve and we'll retry it here. That's interesting. My boy, your boy forgot to put a break, take a break off. Let's try to stop here.
Let's try this run from right here. I think we uh, set ourselves up for failure. But we shall see. We shall see. wheel slippage so shouldn't have any other brakes on give her a push in the other direction and let's get moving that is a bomber and we may have our Glenbrook stuck which is also going to be a big problem for us if it is so But I'm also a little bit impatient, so maybe we can get around this curve a little bit. She's purring a little bit more. We can get around this curve. This is about the steepest incline here, I believe. The rest is under 3%, and we are actually almost there. Come on, holy grail. This could very well be like a 4%. So we are pushing this thing to the limits. Come on, you were close. in here and we're gonna get as far back as possible and I'll see you guys in a minute okay so for anybody um, that may have caught it um, I did leave another break on so that's what our problem was we should just be able to chug right along now that's off yeah I do think the uh, holy grail should be able to make that up the incline there this is one frustrating run uh, probably be a lot easier if I had like a beard loco we're working that working towards our way towards that i just wanted to get out to the coal mine i want to show you guys what's up what's the holy grail house i mean if there wasn't 300 percent brakes on we could have just easily coasted right up this way. Now it's smooth sailing all the way to the coal mine. Heck, 
Yes. We do have another sharp curve coming up. Tried to keep it as minimal as possible of the um, curve. I'm trying to keep it as a minimum, like 80 minimum. Um, but there are curves that are really sharp and not 80. But we made it here. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate anybody hitting those like buttons, subscribing, and following and turn those notification bells on for to know when I post more content. Do appreciate it. I know we didn't bring a uh, hopper cars up here. But probably want to do a couple runs up here and get this filled before we uh, bring our hopper cars all the way up here. Um, probably purchase a couple more for the. Uh, mine itself and just have separated uh, hoppers for each turn that off go ahead and give her some reg and let's see if we can get her loaded so it doesn't look like the train derailed from our little jank piece there um i know it's pretty jank but it looks like it's going to get the job done Maybe. Getting our first beams into the coal mine. Whoop, whoop. bit of multitasking here. So it seems like with the update, they um, made it so the cars don't roll away as easily. Um, they're like, they got actual friction to it. So keep that in mind when you guys are rolling along, getting your guys' items delivered to the spots. But once we get these unloaded, I am going to end the video here. I do appreciate anybody sticking by hitting the like button. I hope we can get this video up to 15 likes. I know it may be a lot um, for an upcoming YouTuber like me, but it would help me out a lot. And comment down below um, if you guys doubted the uh, Holy Grail. I won't be mad. Trust me, I kind of doubted herself. Doubted her myself. So we have got that loaded. Let's go check. Oh, we can't come over there. Oh. Oh yeah, we can. So they go up and down out of here and we get our coal. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. The German soldier, out.